everybody, I'm Emily Powers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this cat in black and white. Um, it's done in acrylics, and I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. Um, this is the painting that I've already done. Um, I think it turned out pretty good, so we're going to see if we can get it pretty close. Sometimes when I do it the second time, it turns out better, and sometimes it's worse and you know every painting turns out different but this is the reference photo that I got um, off of Pixabay I think I mean I think it it could have been off of Pexels I'm not sure because I you have used both of them but um, I've kind of pre-drawn it a little bit um, but I'm going to go over the drawing um, the brushes I'm going to use are a small round and a 3 8 inch Willow's Blender. It's just a scruffy brush. Um, and I did the background already in Mars Black with a one inch flat brush, but I have pre painted this already, so I'm not going to need that um, this time or for the video. So I'm just going to be using these two brushes. And then my paint colors are Titanium White and Mars Black. And those are the only two I'm using, but I have pre-mixed some grays since it might be a little hard to tell which gray I'm using. I mixed them up so you can see which one I'm grabbing from. So the middle one is equal parts of the white and the black. And then this one is equal parts of the gray and the white. And this one is equal parts of the gray and the black. So I just did that so it might be a little easier for y'all to see which one I'm grabbing. So um, I'm going to show you how to draw it real quick. The body starts about in the middle and there's a slight curve and it curves just slightly here again and then kind of goes up out this way a little bit. And then this side, if you split it into quarters, it's going to be right there and it's going to go up. And all this part right here is kind of shadowed, so we're really not seeing the back of the head, but that's about where the back comes to. And then, oops, the, um, if you put uh, your finger in the middle of the canvas, then the nose um, part is going to come up right about there, so a little off from the middle. And there's going to be like basically three humps. So there's going to be the nose part, and then we are seeing this other part on the opposite side. I'm not sure what that what that's called, but then you're also seeing the bottom of the mouth. And it comes down and kind of slants like that, and then this hump goes up slightly, so it's slightly slanted. And then it goes up more, and then does this uh, over, uh, curve right there at the top of the head. And then if you mark in, well, if you go from the middle and cut it into fourths, and then you cut it again, so it's in eighths, then it's gonna, that ear is going to be like right there on this eighth. So it's going to come right here, and then this one is just over uh, probably uh, three or four fingers apart. And this is a 9 by 12 canvas, so if it's bigger, it's going to be a little different. But it's over, down, and to the side, and that's where that ear is. And then this one is going to curve down and then out slightly like that and then you can hardly see the back right here but it comes down and slants and then does this part right here almost like the back of the head and you're going to see some of that part right there so you want to put that in and then this curves down and out like that and then there's a part 
um, where the nose comes down into the mouth and comes around to the mouth. And it curves a little bit more than that, but we're going to kind of, you know, change anything that it's not quite right as we go along. But there's the tip of the nose where it's curved. And then there's like this dark area right here. And then here is going to be like where the whiskers come out. And I didn't draw the whiskers just because they're so thin. We're not going to need to draw them. But then the eye is like right from this where the nose comes off, it's like right, may even be a little higher than when I drew it. So like right in here. And I think I kind of um, might may have moved the eye slightly from where I drew it the first time. So we'll just see what happens. So I'm getting the Lunar Blender and getting this dark gray, not the black, but the one next to it. And I'm going to start marking out where I want the hair to go. So on the back, there are certain parts that are completely black. And then there's the parts where you can actually see the fur. So I'm going to avoid the parts where the black is. And just go where I can actually see the fur and I don't know if you can see this very well on the camera because it's so dark but I'm just making it a color dark enough that I can see it and light enough or I'm sorry light enough that I can see it and dark enough that if I end up you know going in a spot I'm not supposed to then it'll be easier to cover over with the black than like a lighter color would be. So there's a little bit in here, but that part's right there is going to stay very dark, but we are seeing a little bit of the fur. And then there's some here. So there's like a dark patch here, and it's kind of dark here, but you are seeing some fur. And then it's uh, dark here, but you see a little bit. So um, if you go on Pixabay and search for cats, or Pexels, I don't remember which one I got it from. Um, you could pause the video when I show the, pic the picture of the cat and it'll, you can see which parts um, are darker and lighter. See, there's part right here. You could see fur, but it's still really dark. And then pockets throughout it that are dark, so. We're just going to try to do that same thing. And I'm going to do a little bit on the head. So there's some coming right here. So if you have any questions about this, um, you can ask them in the comments down below and I will answer them. And I would also like to know um, if you have a cat, you can tell me what color it is and, you know, if there's anything funny that they tend to do that you like about them. My cat, she's got such an interesting personality. Most of the time when I talk about her and people ask what color she is, I start telling them she's got um, like blonde and brown and white and black and so they think that she's a calico but she's not. She doesn't even really have stripes except for on her head a little bit. Okay, so now 
I want to take this next gray and you don't want to have too much paint on your brush. If you get too much, it'll just kind of look like a bunch of blobs and it won't really look like fur. So be careful not to put too much paint on your brush. You want enough you can see it good. And I'm trying not to go too light too fast because if we leave it dark, then we'll be able to go back with lighter color if we don't get it light enough. But once you get it too light, you kind of can't, it's harder to fix than putting it on, you know, making it lighter. It's harder to make it darker after it's too light than making it lighter after it's, when it's this dark. So I'm just kind of going slowly and building it up. And when you get out here, it's pretty white. It's pretty solid white and we're going to flick out outwards instead of down like we are. You also want to make sure you're pulling your brush strokes in the direction the fur is growing. So like here it's kind of going this way and here it's kind of going this way. But up at the top of the head it's kind of going up. So you got to watch for that. You could also um, take a picture of your cat. Um, even in black and white, I think some phones have the feature to take it in black and white. And you can kind of see, you can kind of use that picture of your cat to paint this if you really want to like customize it. Uh, I think this cat is a boy. It just looks like a boy cat to me. Its head is kind of big. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to go to white. And I know I just said that I don't want to go too light too fast. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to get these parts of the mouth and the tip of the ears that are white and I want to make sure I can see them. So I'm just kind of going to outline it kind of sort of so that I can take this chalk off and I can uh, won't have all this. The chalk is kind of hard to see where you're putting the paint and where you're, you know, if you go over your line, it's kind of hard to see with all that chalk. So I'm just gonna kind of put in lightly where I want the tip of my cat to be so that I can get that chalk off, dry it and get the chalk off. Okay, so now I'm going to rinse this brush out and get my round brush and I'm going to take the white and kind of thin it out a little bit and I'm going to do the ears. If we don't get it perfectly straight or perfectly, uh, yeah, if we don't get this white quite in the right spot, then when we take the chalk off and we can clearly see where we're putting it, then we will be able to go back with the black and kind of straighten it up. Okay, and then I'm going to take that white again and do this other side. Now that was definitely jagged, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Okay, so now I'm going to blow dry it so that I can take these outer markings off. 
Okay, so now that we have the chalk off, um, I so what I did was dry it, and then I wet my rag here and took all the chalk off. Um, so now that that's done, I'm going to um, take my Lunar Blender again, and well, I think I'm going to use my small round and define the mouth a little more. So it's funny how animals, when you're painting animals, they have such ugly stages. I mean, even I think at this point it's where this is like the ugliest it's going to get. It's, you know, I just made it to where I could see what I'm doing. And other than that, it's just kind of, you know, it's patchy. So, but we're going to fix it. So. Get down a little bit more. The way my lighting is here seem, tends to put a glare on it. An acrylic paint is kind of shiny, so makes it, you can see any shine on it. So that's why I'm holding it because I don't want that shine on there. So I'm just taking different grays and marking out where I want this chin area to be. So even though up under this chin is white, it's got gray because it is shadowed. So okay, and then I'm gonna take the white and put this right here. top of the mouth so I'm doing this part with the um, round brush just because I think it needs more um, it needs to be more defined than the other brush I couldn't get in the tiny spots with it so trying to get in there good And right here is where the 
whiskers come off and it's kind of raised so it's going to be lighter. It was really funny. Uh, last night, my cat got so scared. My brother has this, I think it's like some kind of a fishing lure. It's a worm, a long worm, probably like a foot long. And he threw it towards the cat. And I think it landed on her because she jumped up and just ran right out of the room. And then you realize that the um, worm was at the edge of the door that she ran out of. So it was like it got attached to her back somehow. And so it scared her to death. It was pretty funny though. So now I'm just taking the black and I'm going... I'm going right next to that line we made and straightening it up. And oh, I think I'm raising it way too far. Put some black where the ear is. Um, and then I'm going to take that white again. And define it more. When it gets down to the bottom it grays out and then it gets like back to black. But there is some gray right here but I'm going to put that in with the other brush. about that noise I think a plane is going across our house and then I went a little too far with that light color so I'm just gonna Kind of blend that out. Okay, and now I think I'm going to switch to the mirror blender again and get this medium gray and put that right up against this part. That is. Okay, so now I'm going to take the light color and round out his head a little bit more. And I'm going to take some of that dark black and put in there's like a stripe dark on his head. And then there's another stripe along here. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going to put in the eye by taking that and tapping in some white. Below the eye and above the eye. I don't remember where my eye is. And I'm going to put some dark black right there. Okay. And now I'm going to do some of the lighter color on the back. So there's one back here, I'm going to take the black and go over this part. I don't want gray. I want black. <laughs> so, let's see. Well, I think it's too wet. I can't do that right now. Well, I'm going to take the white and do the edge here. So, there's some right along here. It's white. And then the outer edge, I'm going to water it down some so that it will come off longer at some point. Get some darker gray and go right behind it so that the where it starts is not going to be so bright. Like that. And then there's some fur right here. Pretty light. Okay. And then I'm going to take my round again. And put some light color right here for the nose. And then I'm going to take this dark color so that it doesn't get too bright. Okay, and then I'm going to get the black and make sure it doesn't come past this point there. Because that is like where the nose starts to curve in.
okay and while I'm doing this, I'm going to put a little line for the mouth in, even though it's pretty black, I'm going to define it more. And then I can go back with the white and go over more. And don't make it completely smooth. You want to kind of make it bumpy so it looks like fur. Make it look furry. And maybe tap some to kind of give texture. Okay, and then I'm going to put black right up under here. And I'm doing this because it's got some dark right here. It's like a shadow. Okay, here we go. And now I'm going to take that white and highlight the nose and slowly black it out. And I'm leaving this line right across that connects the nose, the nose with this part right here. It's like a black dark line. we go. And I'm going to put some furry texture here. Okay. Now I'm going to take the Lunar Blender and I'm going to tap in right here. Flat for this part. Needs to be lighter, so I'm going to use a lighter color. All in here is, I'm going to tap it so that it's got that texture in it. the black kind of 
push that part back so it's not so bright. And we can take some of the black in these areas that are black and put texture so that if we see any, then we'll see the fur. Okay, well it's looking better. Um, I'm gonna get some of this lighter and tap right in here. I'm gonna give that nose some texture too. But we do wanna keep some dark right here. We want some light crossing over. Okay, now I'm going to take the round brush and I'm going to mark where that eye is. And it kind of, right in this part, there's some, it's not a perfect circle, it's kind of got, it's kind of a, like a circle almost type thing in here. Like that. Now I'll take this needle gray and we can put in some hair in the ear that's kind of curving down. And lay this flat. This side's kind of curving out. Push that back. Pretty light. Putting that in. Okay. And now I'm taking this light color and I'm dabbing some around the eye. And above the eye. Oops. Don't want it too light back here. Okay, so there's a dark part right by the eye where the light is. The light part, there's a dark
heart part next to it. So I'm going to take that round brush again and kind of define that curve more. Go in with the white and define where, where I want that eye to close. That. Okay, so I'm noticing that this is kind of a little too far in. It's to be out a little further. So I'm going to take my black and kind of push it out, even down here. It could be a little bit. Further. Okay, and then I'm going to get the white and water it down. And come out right up to here. Put that back over it, like that. And I'll do some more work on it later. Um, I, there needs to be some more hair in here. That much, too much. Black. Okay, we'll fix that later. There's too much in there now. Too light. It wasn't flowing very good, but we'll go back. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this and dab it. I have some of these. Dab it in here. And then get the lighter color. I need to lighten this up, so the black. There. And then there's some gray I need out here.
Okay, now I'm going to take the black and push this back some. I'm going to rinse my brush out because it's got all this white in it. sure you don't see it and I'm going to get a little bit of that white and put it in those light areas okay now I'm going to get my round brush and go right over that hair. And I'm going to take this light gray and put it along here. Okay, and I'm going to get this black, put it right here. This is actually coming together faster than I thought it was going to. That was going to be more like an hour and a half, two hours, but I guess not. It's going pretty fast. Okay, and... I'm kind of just switching back and forth between brushes here. There's some really light on top of his head in these areas. Get the next gray down though, so it's not as bright. some white and it comes up here and then I'm going to grab the black again kind of push that out and then get that white Put the highlights in. That should be pretty much all we need to do for the ears. I might have to, I might do a little bit more on that side. And just do some more brightening of this area. It's like it won't come off and then it comes off too thick. It's like, really? Come on. <laughs> Cooperate, please. Oops. Got a hair in it.
Okay, and then there's some pretty light right in here where it's raised again. Okay, and now I think I'm going to put in a little bit more of this light color. And water it down so that it makes that more hairy look to it. get a gray and I don't want it to come out too far. I want to kind of blend the edge out so that it's not so funny looking on that side. Just give it some highlights and give it some. Oh, I don't know where all this hair is coming from. Put that in there. And I'm going to put a little bit of it in here. To brighten it up. Oops. I don't want that. Okay, so. I'm just going to put more, just a little bit more highlights and do, I'm going to put in the deeper stripes, darker stripes and things and then we're going to do the whiskers and then I'll just kind of look at it and see if there's anything else that I think needs to be changed. Okay. And brightening up that part right along the eye. Again. Make sure it's bright enough. The dark is right along the edge right there. Okay. And now for the whiskers. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take some of this gray and just pull it down into that chin just slightly. Okay, so for the whiskers, first we have to do these little dots in here. So you just start with one right here. And you don't want them perfect circles, just kind of dab around. And some are going to be slightly closer to each other, others are going to be a 
a little bit further away. So it's not going to be uh, like a pattern, slight pattern, because they are going in this one. They're kind of in lines, but not a whole, not a very big pattern. It's pretty. I'm gonna do it in a line, but not so you can see. That's what this it fades into dark, so I'm trying to make that dark color right there. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go in with this light gray and kind of make them imperfect. Not so bright or dark. Especially the ones on the edges. Okay, then we're going to do the whiskers, so the white, and thin it out. And this one goes out like that. And when it goes pretty long, and there's one that kind of curves slightly. What we can do if it gets you know, we got basically where we want it. We just, it gets a little too big or something like that. We can go back with the black and shape it back like we did the edge of the ear earlier. You can also, it's like in this part that has lots of different colors, then you can wet your brush down and when you go back, it kind of picks up any paint that's wet that you touch on it. So it, if there's any part you don't like, you can just kind of pick it up. And then there's one right around here. And there's one attached. Don't want it so bright. Oh, both it come from the same area. And then there's one from like right here. And
So there's some smaller ones and some bigger ones, longer ones, thicker ones. So if they're not all um, if they're not all the same thickness or brightness, it's okay because they're not in the picture. They're are some that are brighter than others and some that are longer than others so some that look thicker because maybe the shorter ones tend to be um, lighter because they are like newer so they're finer and you can't see them as easily What I do for the other side is I flip it upside down and I flip my picture upside down. So then I can go the same direction I would normally go. And because my picture is also upside down, then I I won't have to be figuring out where my whisker is supposed to go. I can just use the picture like I normally would. Okay, so you see how that one ended up kind of the same size as the other ones, but it's supposed to be a lot thinner. So what I'm doing is taking the black and going over it so that it looks a lot smaller. doesn't seem to want to go very far. Add more water to it. It'll go further. Okay. And then I'm going to add this part up here that starts out right here. So this was not supposed to curve so much, so I'm just going to, oops, big spot there, big water drop, just going to go with it and shape it out. And then if there's any spots after we're done that are brighter, we can Go back, make it brighter later. So, so there's a spot that's brighter, a little brighter, 
here. And then this is brighter. And flip it back. And it makes it a lot easier to do those ones instead of going this way. I mean, if you're left-handed, it might would be easier, but it's easier to go in the direction you write. So, and you can just brighten up any that are not quite bright enough. Some of them are pretty bright. Okay, and there's one that's pretty bright right there. And I'm going to take the black and push that back right there. Okay, so we'll look at it, see if there's anything not quite the way I want it. There's some little lighter in here. And there's like a really light spot on the head right there. Some brighter right there. And then some dark right right along there. Okay. Well, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to put some brighter ones back. And take that dark and put that over here so it's not so gray right there. Mm. I'm sorry you can't see this right now. I'm just trying to look because the shine is kind of making it to where I can't see if it's black or gray. Okay, so there's the painting. It's a little shiny, so I'm lifting it up so you can see it. Um, and I've got this Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in white um, for signing it. And I see with these kind, you kind of have to get it flowing before you sign it, just by tapping it down on the palette a little bit. You want to go the fingers with the way from the bottom so that when you frame this it won't cover up your name okay so there's our kitty I think it came out pretty good um, and I thought I would mention you can glaze um, colors over black and white so I did this little sample for you to see this would be what we just did, so the black and white, so this is without any color. And then you can get glazing medium or water and thin it out real good um, with whatever color you want. And then this would be with more water or more glazing medium, so it's just a thin wash. And then this would be um, more of the pigment, so it'd be darker. Uh, I did this with glazing medium and phthalo blue. So you could do even the background a different color and um, do glaze over with um, you know some um, bright color if you like that or if you have um, you can take the color of your cat or if you don't have a cat or you like a certain color cat you can 
glaze over with like the brown or the, you know, uh, whatever color uh, cat you have. You can glaze with that color and kind of make it look more like them. Um, you can like, you know, do the nose, whatever color that is, and um, just do a thin wash over the white and it'll, you know, bring some color to it. So now we have this one done. Um, this was our old schedule of paintings and we have, I have all these on my channel now. So if you want to look at those, you can check those out. And this is our new schedule. So next week we're going to be doing the boy with the kite. Um, and there's some really fun ones in here. Like I am excited to do this lake and the bird's nest and the horse and the cabin. I'm <laughs> excited for most of it. And this is a betta fish. If it looks a little like a flower, it's a fish. Um, I, I know it from such a small little picture, it kind of looks like a red flower, but it's a fish. So, um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where you can look at more painting tutorials. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, you can put it in the comments below. So thanks for watching. Bye.